Pratt & Whitney, a known supplier of power plants for passenger jets, is dealing with a big problem involving their GTF engines. The metal contamination has been discovered in several of these engines, which power hundreds of Airbus A320 Neo jets operated by various airlines. As a result, Pratt & Whitney has initiated a massive recall and inspection process that will affect more than 1,000 GTF engines, raising concerns about the engine's reliability and potential financial impact on the parent company RTX. The recall will be implemented in stages, with 200 engines inspected in the next weeks and another 1,000 engines scrutinized over the next year. This extensive approach comes at a high cost, with the engine issue wiping about $17 billion from RTX's market worth. The inspection process is estimated to cost RTX $500 million in free cash flow this year, indicating the severity of the problem. However, Pratt & Whitney and RTX are working to reassure airlines and passengers that this engine problem does not pose any flight safety concerns. Despite this reassurance, the recall has raised eyebrows and led to a growing concern about the GTF engine's reliability, which various issues have marred since its introduction in 2015. The engines have required more maintenance than anticipated, resulting in a global shortage that has even impacted the production of new jets. The engine recall is particularly challenging for Pratt & Whitney, as it comes at a time when the company had touted the durability of its upgraded GTF Advantage engines in a June. This situation threatens their reputation as a supplier of reliable power plants for aircraft. Airbus, the user of these GTF engines, faces increased demand for its A320 jets compelling the manufacturer to ramp up production. However, the surge in demand has also placed additional strain on the GTF engines and CFM Leap model engines. Despite the recall and inspection process, the production of new engines for Airbus A320neo is not affected, thanks to changes in the production process that mitigate the issue. While the short-term disruption to air travel may be limited due to the relatively small number of engines being inspected, the long-term impact remains uncertain. The Federal Aviation Administration and Pratt & Whitney still need to collaborate to develop a comprehensive plan for future inspections and repairs, ensuring the continued reliability of the affected engines. Properly managing the recall process will be essential to maintain the confidence of airlines, passengers, and the industry. As the holiday season approaches, it will be a real-world test for Pratt & Whitney's ability to manage the engine problem effectively and minimize disruptions during busier air travel times.